What's going on, YouTube? It's your girl, B. Y'all already know the vibes. And you know it's DC. What up? <laughs> and we are back with another video. So for today's video, we are going to be introducing our new puppy, Daisy. And we know that this is not one of our normal, usual, regular videos, but we do want to give you guys a little glimpse into what we're doing today in our lives and things like that. So we want to introduce our sweet baby, Daisy. But before we do, you want to go get her now or you want to wait? Yeah, I can go get her. Okay, go get her. Okay, She's going to go pick her up. Daisy is, what, nine weeks old today. There she is. Tell everybody, hey. Sweet Daisy. Hi, Daisy. She's a full-blooded pug. We got her from a breeder. Girl looking at me like, you don't want to eat yeah. that. Show them their face. Give them that nose. I'm not just a cute little <laughs> She really is. We uh, ended up getting her about two weeks ago, right? Yep. Maybe two weeks a day ago, whatever. Anywho, we got her at seven weeks old, and ever since day one, we've been training her and loving on her and just giving her everything. She, you know what? She's really spoiled. I'm gonna be honest. She's spoiled right now. She's spoiled. We, shouldn't have, we should not have done that. <laughs> it's the wrong time to be spoiling her. As y'all can see, she's not that okay. big, but. Ow. <laughs> Are you nibbling on me? You're not hungry. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe she's hungry. I don't know. But as of now, she is pretty much chilling. Daisy Clark, tell everybody hi. Oh, let's talk about Daisy while she's nice and chilling on the couch with us. Yeah. She's calm right now. She's normally not this calm. Right, baby. Uh, when she's around us, she gets super, super, super duper excited. And she just goes ah! all over the place. But we are working on that. And we want to show you guys some of the techniques that we use Ow. to work on her. Um, she uh, already Ow. say no. No, no. Ah. Good girl. Good girl, Daisy. There, um, there are no, some no. things that we do no, no. that are special. Girl. You know, tailored straight to her because she is a pug. And we, we do definitely want to show you guys some of the things that we do. Look at her. She's just looking at me. Say, I got my shot. She got all her shots, of I course. I got my shots. Oh! Everything she just for. like hard down, like really <laughs> chewing on me. Y'all, she crunk like this because she is ready to learn, aren't you? Yeah. Daisy, are you ready to learn? We keep a very structured schedule for her. It's like Dominique keep a structured schedule. Yeah, she keep a structured schedule. Yeah, she needs to have structure. <laughs> so, look, look at those feet. What is she doing? <laughs> <laughs> she want to get down. Oh, okay. Go put her in her home. Go put her in her home. All right. We'll tell you guys about her home later. See you later. <laughs> tell them bye. Okay. Bye, Daisy. We're doing things like uh, she is, I will say, 90% potty trained. If not a little bit higher than that, she is, a, she is wonderful. She's I want, wonderful. I would definitely give a good 90%. I would say definitely 90%. Even if I'm not looking, I would still keep it at 90%. Yeah, so I really don't think we really can be sitting here on the couch, mm -hmm. not paying attention to her, not and she will go over there to her little potty and she will use it. But don't worry, we'll show y'all that food. in a minute. So, uh, what else? Pretty smart. She's learning her name very well. We'll show you guys what exercises we do for that. Daisy! She has a home and a cage. We'll talk to you guys about that later. It's like, dang, I'm going to talk to everybody about everything later, huh? She is definitely a talker. <laughs> if y'all have not realized that, it's your girl right here. It's your girl. <laughs> but, um, but we are just so happy to introduce uh, Daisy to you guys because she is a very, very lovely puppy. She's so smart. She's full of so much love. She is. She is. She is. <laughs> uh, we had a boy before. Uh, we had a miniature schnauzer, and he was really something. Really something. We got this dog. One thing I do want to share with you guys is my experience on the first night we got her. I drew the short straw that night because um, I didn't have to go to, go to work the next day. So I ended up staying up with her all night. And um, 
We got her from a breeder, but she was, uh, we got her a week early. We got her at seven weeks versus eight weeks, which is nothing wrong with that. But, um, you know, we, they don't normally like to keep them with their, uh, with their mother mm -hmm. for eight weeks. But we got her at seven weeks and we, we begged them. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> she begged. You begged. Don't make me put up receipts. All right, what else? Okay. I probably wanted her to, but. Probably. Anywho, I had to stay with her all night and she was missing her brothers and sisters. She really was. She was missing them so much. She was uh, not really whining, but it sounded like she was crying or just missing their presence, missing playing with them. And it was really tough for me, but I know it was even harder for her from being away from everything that she knew, you know, since she was born. So that first night, she would fall asleep, but she kept waking up, I would say, every 45 minutes. She would not sleep <laughs> over an hour. I mean, that first night, I was tired. I was so tired. <laughs> so the reason why I didn't stay up, if y'all are wondering, because I had to go to work. First night, she kept waking up every 45 minutes. It was tough on me, but I know it was even harder on her. Cause she missed her mom and her brother. She was actually the only girl in the litter. She was whining all night and crying all night. It just hurt my soul so bad. But um, eventually she did warm up to us. And as you can see, she loves us very much. <laughs> what can I say? Talk about the second night. You took the second night right here. I need to go to sleep. That first night, I was done. I was Y'all, she, she was done. So the second night, um, oh, by the way, we did not sleep in our room the first or the second night. We both slept in the, in the living room. In where living we are room. now, on this couch that we're sitting on. So the second night, I wasn't gonna put up with that. So I, did we already have this, her house? We didn't uh, have a cage yet, did we? We had the cage, we didn't have her house. So the second night, I decided that I wasn't gonna have a night like Dominique. So I put her in that cat, the Kindle, and trained her. She cried, she cried for about at least an hour. But she finally stopped. Ever since then, that's where she sleep at. So everything was pretty good. I really didn't have that much time trouble. She did. She got. Um, she actually has a cage and she has a home. We call it a home area. So every time we say home, it gets her used to knowing where she's about to go. Uh, it's where she stays a lot of the time of the day if we're not able to watch her properly. Um, like if I'm in there cooking, which actually I'm cooking something now and I didn't put the I'm timer so on. Hungry. I did not put the timer on. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. But you know how I do when I feel like it's ready. Then I'm gonna go take it out. <laughs> she thinks she know everything, y'all. I just have a don't. feeling when I feel like it's been 20 minutes. Mm. Then I'm gonna go. Y'all, I keep looking off. I'm sorry. Uh, she, she is looking funny. At her baby. She is funny. Like she hard down sitting. <laughs> She's sitting in her bed. Like, are y'all gonna let me out? Go ahead and show everybody not? Daisy's home. All right, so now uh, and then this we'll is let the you park. guys go. We just really want to just introduce her. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna show y'all that we are teaching her her name, and we're gonna show y'all her home, and that's about it. And if she decides to give y'all a little show and use the restroom. So here is her home. I don't know if y'all can. She really, really loves this one, look at it. Hey, baby, Lou. Hey, baby. And it also has a bed for her to rest throughout the day. And she loves her bed. She's always in Look at her. She, she want to eat on my hair. Too. No, no, no. No, no, no. Hey, Daisy. Hi. Tell the people hi. Tell the people hi, Daisy. You you locked up? Come here, baby. We won't let you out? <laughs> Okay, guys, we so, hope you enjoyed seeing Daisy. We're gonna go ahead and end this video right here. We don't want it to be too, too long, but we just wanted to give a little small introduction of our newest member of the <laughs> family, Miss Daisy Lou. 
And please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe because we will be showing you guys some of our daily routines with Daisy, as well as how we have her trained to know where to potty. And also we have her trained to know her name. We wanna show you guys how we can, how that is actually possible in nine weeks. We've only had her for two weeks and she's nine weeks old. She already knows her name. She knows where to potty. She's excellent. Pretty smart. Uh, the Clark family, as y'all can see, it is growing. <laughs> All right, we are out. Bye. Daisy, go potty. Good girl, mama. Good girl. You're such a good little puggy.